Hello, and welcome to a very chill video. I'm sitting on my bed right now, so if the camera moves with me, you know why. Maybe I should have put this on the floor. Too late now. Today I'm going to be talking about a few books, a few meaning 20, that are coming out next year that I'm excited about and wanted to talk about, slash share, slash, I don't even know, with you. Let's just get into it because I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm going to be looking at my phone constantly because it's on my phone. Before I start, um, if I don't know what the books are about, I'm really sorry, but that's just how I am. And I can't really change it um, because I don't want to. Basically, long story short, uh, when I look at books and read what they're about, I add them and then I forget about it. And then I buy them because I've added them, so apparently I wanted to read them. That's how I work. I know that sounds insane, but whatever. <laughs> the first book that I have on my list is a book by Morgan Matson. It doesn't have a cover and it doesn't have a description, but it's called The Firefly Summer. The next book I have on my list is another book in the Wayward Children series called Where the Drowned Girls Go. I think I know who it's about. I forgot her name, but she was in one of the books, and I think she was part of this world underwater or something. I don't remember. The next one, I I have heard of the author, but I don't have I haven't heard anyone talk about this book yet. It's called Echoes and Empires by Morgan Rhodes. I think it was Morgan Rhodes who wrote the Fallen Kingdom series, but I don't remember. Anyways. I have no clue what this is about, I just know that it is enemies to lovers and there's magic in it. The next book is called When You Get the Chance by Emma Lord. Um, again, I don't know what this is about, only that it is rivals to lovers and is set in Broadway or the main character wants to go to Broadway, something like that. Then we have Behold the Sins by Rachel Sarin really out there. I don't know if anyone I know has heard of this book, but I added it because it has the seven deadly sins, and for some reason I have an obsession with that. I love anything that has seven deadly sins in it. TV shows, movies, you name it. I love it. Yeah, I have no clue what else it is about. I just read seven deadly sins, added it. The next book is called Meet Me in the Margins by Melissa Ferguson which actually I know what it is about for once. And it is a woman who works in like publishing or editing and she is writing a book and somehow somebody else finds the book that she's writing and they have made notes in the margins, hence the name, but she doesn't know who it is and I think they start like flirting on paper or something. Cute. Next, I have another romance book called All the Right Reasons by Bethany Mangle and this one again I know wow look at me go um it is the main character's parents are on like a bachelor tv show and they fall in love sort of like that but they're not supposed to um yeah that's all I know <laughs> the next book is iconic I think it's called Manhunt by Gretchen Felker Martin um, and it is basically a post-apocalyptic world where all the men are zombies and we follow a trans character I think it was something like that and I loved it I don't remember but I really I really want to read it the next book is called Only a Monster by Vanessa Len uh, this one is about a girl whose family are monsters, and she's a monster too, but she didn't know, and her crush is a monster slayer or something, and then she's forced to work with somebody she hates, aka probably hate to love trope, which I'm all for it, so. The next book is Victoria Schwab's, or V.E. Schwab's new book, called Gallant. Don't know what it's about, um, but I just know the main character has my name. 100% going to read it because of that. <laughs> then we have the fourth book in the Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't think I have to explain that to you. Then I have another romance, there are a lot on this list, called She Gets the Girl by 
which Rachel Lippincott and Allison Derrick, which I know are married, I think, I'm pretty sure. And it's um female female romance that I clearly forgot what it's about. Um it's about two girls working together to make somebody else to make people fall in love with them, but then obviously that doesn't happen. I think. I don't know. The next book I have is called This May End Badly by Samantha Markham. It is a prank war between two characters and they fake date. I don't remember why, but that is the plot. The next book is called See You Yesterday by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I remember what this is about. This is a... I call it a Groundhog Day, but it's basically the main character repeats the same day over and over. But she is stuck in this time loop with her enemy. Something like that. I don't remember, but it sounded like something I would like, and I added it. The next book I have is called My Mechanical Romance by Alexine Farrell. Mm. I don't know how to say this in English. Alexine Farrell Falmouth. Hopefully that's correct. It is about a robotics club and two rivals. Clearly we can see a trend in my reading plans <laughs> for 2022. Next I have a, botani a Botanist's Guide to Parties and Poisons by Kate Kavari. Don't know what this is about again. It's a murder mystery, somebody dies. I don't know. The next book I have is another murder mystery called The Woman in the Library by Sulari Gentle. A murder happens in the library and there are four strangers at a table. I don't know. <laughs> Next I have another romance called Love and Other Great Expectations by Becky Dean. This has a scavenger hunt element in it, which is why I added it, because I love that, if you didn't know. And it's about a girl from America going to Britain? England? I don't know. Um, and try to solve the scavenger hunt with the help of this cute boy from England. Next I have another book called Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Don't even remember this at all. But it says it's for people who like Cruel Prince and Serpent and Dove. I haven't read that yet, but here we are. It says it's a fantasy about a morally gray witch, a cursed prince, and a prophecy. Don't know what it's about, but clearly it was something to read. Next, I have a book called Bella Donna by Adeline Grace. Here we are again. It's about a main character who makes a deal with, a, with death. Something like that. I don't know. Then we have Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion, which is a sequel to Legendborn, which I read and didn't really like, so I don't know why I added it, but here we are. Then we have another book coming out by Sophie Gonzalez called The One That Got Away. Doesn't have a cover, does have a description. I don't think I read it when I added it. I just love Sophie Gonzalez. It's about a t show. It's about a reality show. Again, another book with a reality show. I don't know what's happening. Um, another book I have that doesn't have a cover is called A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. I don't know how to say these names. I'm so sorry. But it has vampires and that's why I added it. Don't know what else it's about, except it's vampires. I am so sorry. And the last book on my list is Heartstopper Volume 5. But yeah, those are all the books I had to talk about. This was a really weird video, I am so sorry. But I just wanted to talk about them, even though I don't know a single thing about them. This was kind of pointless. Anyways. <laughs> if you have any books that are coming out, next year that you're excited about and that you think I will like or not, please leave them in the comments. I would love to add more because clearly I don't have enough. Um, but that is everything for today and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!